Last week we talked about strings. This week we're talking about numbers. ES2015 introduces a bunch of improved ways to deal with numbers, and today we're going to cover three of them. Number.isNon, Number.isFinite, and Number.isSafeInteger. If you do a lot of math-based JavaScript, working with graphics for example, those can come in handy. I can't show you built-in ES5 versions because they literally don't exist. You have to write your own functions. I'm borrowing the ones from the folks at es6-features.org. Here they are. As you can see, that's a pain in the butt. Let's talk about isNon first. The first thing we need to note is that this does not check to see whether something is a number or not. For example, you can feed a string to isNon and it'll still give you false. The only thing it's checking for is if the actual value is NaN, not a number. Here's how we use it with the ES5 functions above. Save, refresh false and true. But we can also use the ES2015 version, which doesn't require us to write any functions. It's the same basic concept. Should get another false and true. I'm going to console log a separator here also because things are going to get a little tough to read otherwise. Next up we've got is finite. This checks to see if a value is, well, finite or not. JavaScript has a built-in infinity value and a negative infinity value as well, which we can use to check against. Here it is using our ES5 function from above. That should give us true and false, which it does. Here's our ES2015 version. should give us a second true false. And it does. Let's add another separator here real quick. The last thing we need to talk about is integer safety. Without going into a massive explanation, it's important to know a couple of things. The first is that JavaScript handles all numbers as floating point numbers, even integers. The second is that because of this, there are upper and lower bounds on integers JavaScript can represent without the potential that two integers may be represented in the same way. Dr. Axel Rauschmeier does a great job on his blog of explaining all the nuances for people who want to get into the math. I'll link it in the YouTube description. What it comes down to is that these two expressions both produce the following output. 900-719-925-474-0992. That's alarming. So if you're doing math intensive coding, you want to check and make sure that your large numbers are safe to operate on and that the results are also safe. That's where is safe integer comes in. Here's the ES5 version, which again requires you to include the functions we defined above. That second integer is so large that it is unsafe. True and false. And here's the ES2015 version, which again does not require any custom functions on your part. Generally speaking, 17 character numbers are not safe. Save, refresh, and we have another true and false. You may be wondering how to work on larger numbers than that in JavaScript. The answer is, as is so often the case, use a third-party library. Next week, we'll talk about the other new ways to manipulate numbers that ES2015 introduced. See you then.